somebody can't rest. There's a lack of rest because balance, labor could be significant because you're being balanced, you're balancing something out or something is being balanced out in your life. This could be karma, um, spiritual karma, um, you know, just things getting balanced back in your life. Consume. So something is being consumed or devoured up, that old shit, the bad karma. So maybe you've gone through a bad period, possibly for a long time, could be years, months, weeks, whatever the case. <clears throat> you could have been going through something for a long time and something is being balanced out and that bad shit is being consumed because of your strength. Someone may want to partner up with you. Capricorn could be significant. Someone could want to make a deal with you because they see how strong you are. You could be entering into new contracts. Somebody wants to work with you. Um, and then we have Taurus energy with the provide here. So someone may want to work with you. They see maybe how you provide for yourself. You could be self-sufficient, independent. Um, but this person may want to help you in some sort of way. This could be a job offer, a business collaboration. Uh, but somebody may want to partner up with you, want to work with you, um, because of how strong you are. You've overcome some sort of obstacles and something is being balanced out. So maybe you've had difficulty with job, work, money, something like that. Something is being balanced out and it's going to work in your favor. <clears throat> Um, I had this one, like, go make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. There's a new beginning that's coming for you. Give it time, everything in divine timing, let things flow. Someone refused to let something go, or you had to let something go for this new beginning. Um, maybe something from the past. Maybe you were holding on to something, or some karmic energy is holding on to you, and you chose to let it go to make room for this new beginning. No, it's not the right time. This person can't come back in your energy if you decided to move forward without somebody, um, if you left somebody behind to have this new start or new beginning, they could be trying to come back. They refuse to let things go. They could be being forceful. Uh, but no, it's not the right time. Everything is in divine timing. Something is on its way to you, and this cannot be stopped. Something is going to happen for you when it is the right time. And you may be kind of getting impatient um, waiting for this new beginning, but it's on its way to you. So just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not happening. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Some of you may need to get out in nature and get grounded or regrounded. But there is going to be a balancing out. This can't be stopped, especially if you're in the upright. Someone comes up short when it comes to what they can offer you. Take my advice. I'm not using it. Hypocrite in the reverse. So somebody was a hypocrite. They come up short. <clears throat> they just don't have room for in this in this new beginning that you're having. There's just not room for this person. They refused to lie down or they wanted you to just lie down and take their bullshit. Um, this is somebody who doesn't practice what they preach. They don't have to be a preacher. But it's like somebody who says things, but they don't live what they say. They don't. They don't even really mean what they say. When nothing is right, go left. You could have changed direction, switched it up, did something that they didn't expect. Maybe they didn't expect you to be independent or able to take care of yourself. I mean, that's what they wanted other people to believe about you. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. This person could be annoying, <clears throat> or they could have been annoying. They're, they were being forceful, trying to push their way back into your energy. I said yes, which turned out to be right. the right answer in the reverse. They wanted you to say yes. Yes to them coming back into your energy. Yes to them fucking your shit up. Um, because if you were in a negative situation with this karmic energy with this person, this person could have used you, abused you, drained you, money, time, energy, resources. And they want you to say yes. They're trying to force you into saying yes into putting up with them and their bullshit and the fact that they're a liar, that they're a hypocrite, um, that they're not who they appear to be. Grenade, something is about to blow up. This person is afraid of something blowing up in their face. Maybe that they've lost you for good. They can't take anything else from you. If you have, I know in a couple of my recent readings, if you've come into some sort of money or things are changing, being balanced out for you, this could be the kind of person that was telling everyone that you can't do things on your own, that you need them, that you're codependent, and you're proving them wrong. It's blowing up back in their face. 
pushing your buttons intentionally, this person loved to make you blow up. Like this person will push your buttons, try to get you to snap so they could say, you're the unstable one. Um, all your problems are caused by you. Um, the relationship problems that you may have had with this person were caused by you because you're emotionally unstable. When they were intentionally doing this shit just to irritate you, just to bother you, and you could have had to distance yourself from this person far as in the reverse. They could be trying to close the distance in <clears throat> between you and them. They may not be as far away as you think they are. You may have thought that you put distance in between you and this person, but they may have located you, found you. Um, they may be lurking around closer than you would like them to be. A trouble shared is a trouble halved. They want to share their problems with you, and they want you to have to pay or help them pay for the karmic debt, financial debt, whatever problems that they're facing. They want to share those problems with somebody else. They don't have um, the capability or responsibilities to take care of this stuff themselves. So like I said, um, this person could have said that you couldn't take care of yourself, that you were codependent, um, but this person is also a hypocrite. So the things that they're projecting on you is actually themselves. So they need someone else to share their burdens or their problems because they could be lazy. Maybe they don't want to work. Um, maybe they want your money, your time, your energy. They're very draining. Very, very draining. But they want you to share in their problems. And this could also have to do with karma. What's understood doesn't need to be explained. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why you refuse to communicate with this person or why you don't want to do anything to do with this person. <clears throat> they could have caused you severe injury. Like to the point where it could have taken you a long time to recover, um, you know, after you were in a situation or a relationship with this person, they were trying to upset you intentionally to keep you ungrounded so that you wouldn't gain your footing. So you wouldn't be able to see clearly. They could have been blocking your chakras. They're, they're trying to keep you from seeing them as they are and things as they are. It's like, they don't want you to see reality for what it is. If you were a booger, I'd pick you first. They didn't choose you first. You were not their first choice. You might've been their first target, but they had no intention of being with you or staying with you. And if you started to heal and improve after you left this person, um, they have a problem with that. They wanna be first in your life, but they never put you first in theirs. A paper cut is a tree's final act of revenge. So because you chose yourself and you chose not to put this narcissist first, they were out for revenge. They could have said that you were doing something out of revenge or spite. Um, if they lost their job or did something or you just spoke the truth, this person could be facing some sort of legal issues. They're upset. They didn't get a treasure. <clears throat> they were not able to take something from you. Maybe they did temporarily and maybe that's what's needing to be balanced out. But this person is out for revenge because they feel like you did something um, or they're blaming you for something, whether you did something or not. This was an unsuccessful relationship because they were greedy. They were only out for a treasure, something that they could take from you. It could be something of monetary value. It doesn't have to be. But this was an unsuccessful relationship and they didn't get whatever treasure they were searching for or trying to get because you moved on to karma waters or you're on your way there. They caused a financial imbalance for you by trying to steal something from you. Um, it could even be your confidence, how you feel about yourself, your self-worth, your independence. It's like this person, if you were independent when you met this person, they wanted to strip all that away from you and make you codependent because that's what they needed other people to believe. So that when things went sideways or after they robbed you and took you for everything you had and threw you away, they could make you out to be the problem, even though you were not the problem. But they needed people to believe this about you. <clears throat> so they caused you financial instability and an unbalance. And then um, told people that you didn't know how to manage money, that you can't support yourself, that you need them. And if you started to do this all on your own, this person's left looking like a fool. You have a decision to make. Or you're at a crossroads. If this person comes back, you may have to make a decision on whether or not you're going to deal with them. But you have your guard up. As you're moving on to calmer waters, your guard is up. This person just can't have any sort of access to you, maybe like they did in the past. You could have been nice. You could have gave them the benefit. You know, you could have given them the benefit of the doubt in the past. But then you found out this was not an official person. Where you are the official person and they caused an imbalance for you. 
This person likes to think very highly of themselves. They could have even caused you legal issues or court issues, problems within the judicial system, court system, whatever the case, um, with law enforcement. <clears throat> So they could have tried to cause an imbalance for your finances using the legal system, trying to drag your ass to court over stupid petty shit constantly. It's like they need people to believe you're a piece of shit. Like they really desperately need this and they're willing to go out of their way to make this happen. And if they did it to you once, they feel like they already have a foot in or something like that or they can get their foot in the door and they have another shot at this. But they're using the same old tricks, the same shit, different day. You know, it's like they're still doing the bare minimum. You were a fool once, you're not anymore. You're in a new cycle. So maybe you were a fool once and they were trying to stop you from having a new beginning. But you're in a new cycle. That old cycle has been closed out and judgment has been called. And financial balance is being restored. Balance is coming back into your life. with Whether it's money, stability for your family, for you, for your kids if you have kids. Um, when it comes to work, they could have gotten you fired. You could have lost a job because of this person. It's like they literally tried to take you for everything you had. And if you started getting back on your feet, you know, your money started coming back in, looking good. Maybe you started working again. Maybe you got a new job. This person was trying to keep it a secret that they were working with somebody else, collaborating with somebody, trying to stop you from having this new start, a new beginning, that they were working with somebody to take something from you. And they definitely caused a financial imbalance. So they could have robbed you, taken something from you that was valuable or of monetary value, or they just ultimately tried to destroy your life by causing you to lose your job. Um, you know, they could have stolen something that was um, physical, like something physical that had some sort of monetary value to you. <clears throat> they could have caused problems with your kids, like I said, in the legal system. You could be juggling. This person could be juggling now. And that is why some sort of financial balance needs to be restored because you may be juggling finances, penny pinching, working multiple jobs, but you're coming back out of this poverty okay so like this poverty mindset or having to juggle penny pinch you may have had to do this for a while but this is coming to an end because you're in a new cycle and in this new cycle is coming abundance and liberation and freedom and this person has no place in your new cycle you've closed the cycle out but they feel like there's something unfinished or something that's not done on their end Queen of Wands in the reverse. So they were working with a feminine energy who could have abused their power or they were partnered up with some hoe. Could have been somebody that you worked with um, or some, someone that's connected to you. There's a Queen of Wands here, someone who was in their hoe energy. Um, they could have been in a position, a leadership position. They could have abused their power. They didn't deserve to be in that position. They worked with somebody to cause this financial imbalance to and stop you from having this new start, new beginning. This is like sabotage to the max. They went to the people closest to you or that had access to you to try to stop you and sabotage you from having this new beginning. This could come in the form of people, like even like at a job or something like that. Like say you go to get a, a new job and they check references and they contact your old employer or something like that. Like your ex could have slept with like your old supervisor, manager, or something like that, someone who was a hoe. And they could have given you like a bad review trying to sabotage you from getting this new job, new beginning, because that's what this person, this, this ex that you were connected to, that's what they wanted to happen for you. Or if you're a masculine, it could have been this person, um, you know, the queen of wands could have been who you were in the relationship with, you know, take it how it resonates. But somebody who had no business being in the position that they were in because they were abusing their power and they did something just to hurt you. They could have been very jealous of you. Like maybe even if you worked with this person, like whatever position they were in, you could have known their job better than they did. Like, but they were in a position, you know, um, where they made more money, but someone, this person was not an official person. Someone was not official. They were a fake, a fraud, a phony. And then we have the King of Wands here. They could have married this person or been in a relationship with them. It could have been a secret relationship with that moon card that came out in the reverse. They brought a tower mo moment upon themselves because you could have been innocent. Um, also, if you're a masculine energy in the upright, if you're the king of wands in the upright, you're innocent. And 
your ex person, um, this feminine energy in the reverse um, was not innocent. They were guilty of something and a decision has been made about this unofficial person. So if you're a masculine energy here in the upright, you're like a natural born leader. Um, you're very caring, compassionate. You get very protective over things that are important to you. And you could have tried to defend this person, um, or maybe you just didn't want to believe that that's who they were, or that they were capable of doing this to you. You're going to be traveling or moving, taking a trip. Something is moving, Eight of Cups, or someone is traveling towards you. This King of Wands energy, this innocence. Um, you know, you could be proven innocent or seen innocent regarding something and you could be traveling. This could be for work. It could be a move. Someone made a decision to place barriers in your path intentionally and they abused their power, this unofficial person, to try to stop you, this queen of wands. And this is somebody that you could have trusted. Like you really thought this person had your back and king of wands, you're finding out that this feminine energy was just out to cause problems for you so that you could not move on from them. Like they refused to let you go. But it wasn't for the right reasons. It's not because they loved you. It, it was for the wrong reasons. They just didn't want you to move on with somebody else. Like this Queen of Wands, if you're this masculine, if you're the King of Wands in the upper right here, this feminine could have said, you know, that maybe you don't take care of the house, you're not capable of paying the bills, like you just, you know, maybe you can't keep a job. Someone's walking away from this karmic situation. This was a risky commitment and it ended up not working out. Someone's walking away. The Eight of Cups, someone is choosing to walk away from this. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Cartman, South Park could be significant. Someone's just fed up. High priest or priestess, something is being illuminated. That this person is a divine being. Um, that they're a practitioner. They could be very spiritual. There's an ending because of some message. So you're not, you're not communicating back with this person because they could have put you in poverty trying to steal this treasure from you. But yet something is being illuminated about someone traveling towards you to make some sort of love offer, some sort of secrets being exposed, or something is being illuminated. And it could be this person that's trying to stop people from finding out that they are the reason why you ended up in poverty. But you could be ignoring their messages like you're not communicating. They could have tried to send you messages, but you're not responding because they caused you a lot of heartbreak and problems and issues. So you're just, you know, you could come across as like, ice cold to this person but for good reason like they did a lot of dirty shit to you and you could have suffered like i said a really long time because of this there were a lot of barriers put in this king of wands path by this queen of wands so there could have been a divorce or a separation there was a very emotional situation and someone was very emotional and it could have been you. You may have had to heal, uh, you know, significantly from this heartbreaking shit because it's like this person could have attacked you from all angles. It's like they wanted to hit you where it hurt. And unfortunately, it could be this person coming back, trying to come back and make you coming towards you with a Knight of Cups with an offer after you decided to walk away and that you're not dealing with this person. Just be careful about somebody just showing up or knowing your location. <clears throat> If you are trying to stay away from this person, I recommend you not giving them your address. If they do show up, you might need to call the police. Oh, 
So someone hesitated, they waited too long. He who hesitates is hungry. Or they did something really quickly and they didn't hesitate, like they didn't have any problems or hesitate when it came to hurting you and causing you this heartbreak or trying to take something from you or steal something from you. You know, they didn't they didn't wait around. They could have done something quickly and then left you alone, left you on red, ghosted you. And then they could have left you just sitting there, like, on your own to figure shit out by yourself. And then you did figure shit out. And now this person could be trying to come back, but they're stopped because they waited too long. They allowed you time to see them for who they are. You may be okay in poverty. Like, even if you're stuck, like, eating, you know, like this, you know, like, you may not be eating, like, filet mignon or steak or something like that. But something is stopped because you could be fine. You could be content with the bare minimum. And this person thought they were being sneaky and stealthy. This unofficial person. They could have acted like they were working, pretending to work. But they, they're an anti-hero. They could have affected your work. They could have lost their job or caused you to lose your job. And they thought they were being sneaky and that you wouldn't figure out that maybe they were the cause of why you lost your job. But you could be content with the bare minimum. Like, you don't need fancy things. Like, maybe you grew up in, you know, lack growing up. So maybe maybe they didn't realize that you grew up poor. And so being poor doesn't really bother you. Or you know how to survive even with, you know, the bare minimum. Maybe this person was raised a different way than you. Someone here is not happy in the situation that they're in, that they ended up in. They could have been seeing someone. They could be seeing someone and they're not happy with it. This person tried to come back. They could, someone could have tried to get their job back. Hi, how's it going? Remember me? Someone could have also been pretending to go to work when they weren't really working and they were doing something else. Or they could be acting like they don't have a job, but they really do, but they're doing something shady or underhanded. This person could have tried to come back around or tried to get their job back. Maybe you worked with this person or something. There's something significant about work and coming back. So maybe after they got you fired or they got fired, they could have went back and tried to get their job back. Like, hey, remember me? And maybe they got denied. But someone, so now someone's coming back to you. So now they're trying to make a U-turn. Yep, bust, bust a, a U-E. And come back to you. Because maybe you're coming up out of this poverty with the juggling, the finances, everything being balanced out for you. Now this person is coming back because maybe they need money and um, they don't have a job. Or maybe they're not getting the work that they used to get because of karma. Something is being balanced out, not just in the physical but in the spiritual realm, this person was a gold digger. They wanted to be worshipped. Home is where they understand you, your majesty. Um, it's like they want someone to take care of them. They could have said that about you. But they want you to work, bust your ass, and take care of them while they pretend to go to work or do some meaningless, low-paying job or something. Maybe this person can't keep a job. They could have said that about you, but maybe you know how to make money stretch or something, or maybe you're waiting for the right job or, you know, something significant about work, not working and somebody wanting to be taken care of. This person may have thought that you worship them, like, or that you would treat them like a king. So maybe when you were with this person, man or woman, doesn't really matter. When you were with this person, you could have been really good to them, you know, treated them like the king or the queen. Um, and maybe they thought because of that, they had their hooks in you, you know, that they would be able to come back around, treat you any sort of way that you would always have these feelings towards them. But like I said, then they could have left you alone and um, they left you lo alone long enough for you to see things as they really are. You're not blinded. You're not in a fog anymore. You're coming out of some sort of fog. And now you're kicking this person to the curb. It's my way or the highway. You have every right to say things are going to go my way or I'm just not interested. So you've taken control back over your life. And you're kicking this person to the curb. Like you're not interested. Like you could be fine on your own. This person's going to try to come back. And you're like, no, bitch, it's my way now. Like I'm t you don't practice what you preach. You can't even take care of yourself. You said this about me, you could have gotten me fired, you could have done this, you could have done that, whatever the case. But you're kicking this person, you're like, no, bitch, it's my way now. It's my way. No. 
No, I'm living my life the way I want to. I'm not going to let anyone else interfere with it. Um, you could be in a better position than them. Cats rule, dogs drool. Someone thinks they're better than you anyway. Like, they feel like they're better than you, but you're the one that's busting your ass and making shit happen. And so you're kicking this narcissist to the curb. They feel like they're better than you, that they're entitled. Like I said, they could have grown up differently than you. They showed their ass when it came to you. They didn't support you. They were not there when you needed them. They didn't help you. They expected you to just put up with their bad behavior and still treat them like a king or a queen. And that's, and they showed their ass to do it. It's like, you know what? No. You could be much happier without this person around or just being on your own. Like, you're not codependent. So you're not dependent on a relationship or using people. This person is a gold digger. You're not. They are. They just use people for what they can get, whether it's a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. This person just uses people. And you could be ignoring them. Someone could be getting in trouble, having legal issues, raid, drug bust, SWAT team could be significant. Someone drives by your home, so they could be concerned about being raided or some sort of bust. Um, a sting operation could be significant. Someone's driving by your house because you got some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance or you're going to, and they're trying to see how you got your money, where it's being spent, you know, how much you have. And you're saying, I can't see you. Like, you, you don't need them. <clears throat> They could have left you out in the cold because they thought they took everything you had the first time. Then they realized that, you know, um, maybe you have some sort of unexpected money that's being balanced out for you or something like that. And so they're trying to come back to, to do a, a drive-by again, like a second sweep, to make sure they literally clean you out for everything you have. And you're like, no, I'm not interested. Like I said, this person could just show up at your house to so be careful. You may have thought that they didn't know your location, but they know people that you know. And somehow they found your location. I'm just going to tell you that how it is. They know where you're at, even if they don't show up. They do know where you're located. There's a lover situation. This person could be trying to come back to you as a lover. Or um, <clears throat> they have a lover that they're dealing with. And you may know this. That's why you cut cords with them. So you may have cut cords with them because they have other lovers. You know, they're very, they're in their hoe energy, their player energy. So you know that they deal with other people. So you could have cut cords with them and they can't get in your energy. They can't come to you physically. They can't get in your space. They're at a stalemate. They're trying to look for a way back in. <clears throat> So even though this person knows where you're at, they still need you to tell them where you're located so it doesn't look like they're stalking you and harassing you even though they are and they know where you're at. But they still need you to like verify it for them so that they have a reason and say, oh, well, you called, they're going to say, they called me up, they needed me, they asked for my help. Like this person is going to turn this shit around so quick on you if you talk to this person. Someone thought they were getting help behind the scenes. They're trying to figure out who was helping you behind the scenes after you cut cords with them. They may not be able to read your energy um, or see what you've got going on. <clears throat> this person could be a dark practitioner or something like that. They could be using scrying, mirrors. I just heard mirror magic. This person's depressed because there's an injustice that's being made right for you. This person was suffering from a sex addiction. They had lovers. They still have lovers going on. You're not interested in being someone's second choice. Like I said, they wanted you to worship them and treat you as... They wanted you to treat them as if they were your first choice, but they never treated you. You were never a priority. This person racked up spiritual karmic debt because of their lustful behavior. They wanted a booty call. They, they have a sex addiction here, like a pretty heavy one. Someone's getting released from jail. You released yourself from this person. This person wanted you trapped, stuck and stagnant so that you would just have to put up with them sleeping with anybody, cheating on you, and then you wouldn't be able to say shit about it. <clears throat> because what are you going to do? Leave? Not after they took all your money. You don't want this person. I don't want you. And that's why you don't want them back in your energy. You're just you're just not there. You're, you're just not where they left you. You grew. You changed. You want to be left alone. Leave me alone. You want to be left the fuck alone. Especially when it comes to this person. 
<clears throat> even if you're ready for love again, you're not, I, I just feel like you're not interested in anyone from the past like this. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant, M, N, O, or P. Water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I, J, K, and L. Someone stuck between a rock and a hard place, possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> or this could be a fire sign who wanted you stuck between a rock and a hard place. They really thought they had this in the bag. They tried to rip you off. They put themselves in hot water because they tried to rip you off so you don't trust them. There was not an equal give and take. You're seeing the stuff dreams are made out of. And this is literally the blind leading the blind when it comes to some sort of secrets. Like they're trying to stop some sort of secret from being exposed. And one of the secrets is, is that you're the best thing since sliced bread. Like you literally are a dream come true for the right person. And you could have money to burn or you're going to. And this person's playing with fire or something is very passionate um, this person could be passionate about money. This person's playing with fire if they're trying to take your money or take something from you because you've been patiently waiting. Good things come to those who wait. And that's why luck is on your side. And that is your ace in the hole. That is the ace you have up your, your sleeve because you're waiting on divine timing, your strength, your courage, your perseverance. This person underestimated you to the max when it came to what you could endure, what you could take. Because you had so many people attacking you. They really thought that you would be an easy target and it would be quick and easy and one and done. You know, nothing would be drug out or last very long. Um, but that's not the case. You kept going. You're like the Energizer fucking bunny. You just kept going and going and going. And you know better late than never, but this person is very easily tempted. So this person is going to come back to you and say, oh, it's better late than never, even though I left you, ghosted you, left you on red, whatever. You know, kiss kiss of death. They gave themselves the kiss of death, this relationship, the kiss of death, because they judged a book by its cover. They underestimated you very, very much so. Especially if they thought you were just going to sit around and let them cheat on you and just put up with it. They could have been um, emotionally, physically, verbally abusive as well. This is the calm before the storm. This person can't help themselves. They have an addiction. They're going to get caught up in something. They're very easily tempted, but they can't handle being rejected by you. And that's because the, you are the real deal, the real McCoy. And even if you had to start over from scratch, you did. You could have been younger than this person. There's something significant about a younger person on a Tuesday. They could have been dealing with an, a younger person. They're sleeping. They're easily tempted by someone younger. This person was not pure as driven snow, and they didn't see eye to eye with you. Could have been their coworker, your coworker, somebody that's younger than you. So they could have cheated on you with someone who's younger than you. And you're the real deal, the real McCoy. And someone didn't want to see things your way. And you could have tried to explain to them, hey, like, I know what you're doing. I know what you're up to. They could have tried to gaslight you, make you think that something was all in your head, that you're full of shit. But they were flaunting it in your face or trying to make you, like, they were trying to irritate you intentionally, provoke you. Um, it's like they were intentionally trying to push your buttons. And they thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby. And they just didn't want to see the truth. They didn't want to see things your way. So, of course, you know, if they want to be wrong, it is their prerogative. But now you're on your right path. You've changed directions on this person. They didn't learn their lessons on Sunday. This person, this thief, they didn't learn their lesson. You did. They didn't want you to learn your lesson against all odds. They really didn't expect you to learn your lessons, but you're never looking back. And that's because you chose to avoid this person like the plague on a Wednesday. And this person is as white as a sheet. They cannot believe this shit. This person was spreading rumors, talking shit about you with someone that they're thick as thieves with on a Friday in the summertime. Something is only a matter of time. This person's going to get caught red-handed or they did get caught... You could catch them. They're trying to gain control under his or her thumb. It's only a matter of time. This person's trying to regain control over you. But they're not missing you. A cancer. They're not missing you. They're waiting for the other shoe to drop. They want you to love them again and live under the same roof as them. So they want you to move back in with them so they can finish the job. Fuck you up more. Steal what you have. Take care of their shady ass.
they're not patient. They don't know how to be patient. Patience is a virtue in the reverse. This person wasn't patient. They didn't, they did something quickly when they screwed you over. They did it quickly. They, they didn't think it through. Good for you. You see the writing on the wall that this person is just as stubborn as a mule Pisces, or there's a Pisces here that needs to be stubborn. You know, give this person the shit back to them that they gave to you. You're moving full steam ahead at the end of the day. That's just the way it is. All right, person, place, or thing. The letter I could be significant. Why? Ayama? Ayanla could be significant. H or Iana. I just heard hi, you buddy. You. I can't remember what that's from, but I, I know I've heard that somewhere. R. Someone could drive a Hyundai. 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 Something like that. G. V. Yuri could be significant. Why you are I I again? Someone someone could be being watched. They could be watching you. Oh, do two more. R. A governor could be significant. A third R. A govern a governor uh, pardon. A governor pardon. Something like that. A pardon. There's something significant about a governor and a pardon, someone being pardoned for something, someone could be trying to get a pardon. So I have two I's, Y, H, U, two, three R's, G, V, and O. I hope this helps. Have a good day.